Good morning, David here. Weekly Weekbook today is uh, 16th of September, uh, 6.33 in the morning um, a.m. So look at pre-market open and as usual look at November 2016 UK week chart. And we start with the monthly chart <coughs> as usual. And you can see here that we've got a red month at the present moment um, as we're coming, getting into September. And you can see here, obviously we had this fall in, in um, August, uh, we hit high here just under 34, and obviously we're coming back last night's close at 2260, um, just below the month lows at 2260. Um, so obviously let's go down into the weekly candle. So we've got at the moment here we've had this is the uh, we've had three falling months prior to this this week, th sorry three three weekly falls. Um, here we are, you can see them clearly on here, and at the moment we're forming at last a green candle um, coming back here, testing support around the 120, 121 level. Um, pop down into the daily chart, and you can see here, just move this across here where my mouse is. See here, obviously, that this is a swing high that we've been watching here for the last three months, 124.50. Um, this is the gap down, we broke down through it, uh, that was the 26th of August, 20, 30th of August, the end of August, and obviously September, we're now finding support here down at these lower levels, 21, uh, the low was 1990, so around the 20 level, obviously um, looking for uh, the market to go back up and gap fill, uh, and then obviously give us some indication of what it wants to do after that, uh, whether we will have another uh, close above the 2450 level, um, but my feeling is now that probably we're back into this kind of range that we've been in prior to this this uh, lift up here that we had the Brexit vote um, and we'll stay within this range. Obviously, at some time looking to go back up and try to test this 124, 125, uh, what's the gap? 125.50 gap there. Um, if we just look at currency. Uh, this is the pound against Deutsche Mark, and you can see you have marked on here, it's on the daily chart here, that the low of the Brexit level was 13,235, and last night's close was just above it. So obviously we've gone back in the range on the currency as well, and that's obviously, you can see here, if you think the reverse of what's happened on the wheat market, you can see here this fall here uh, of, was on the 16th of August, we had similar the rise where we took us up 134 and obviously all we've done now is gone back in this range here um of, of sideways action since the uh since we had the brexit so obviously um i think more of the same next next week on the wheat market um and obviously ultimately look for a test here sometime to go back up the gap fill this level here i'll put the update next time